so one thing that uh, can be come apparent as we continue with this project is that um, the printf and read disk functions are pretty light, they're fairly small, um, and as a result they don't, I mean, the, what, what we have going on now isn't too bad, but we're going to end up having a lot of little functions in here, and some of them aren't going to be so little, which is going to make our code very difficult to read. So one way to improve readability of our code um, is to use the include command, uh, which allows us to write a separate file for all of our functions and simply include them and then treat the commands as if they were written in the code or in the main code in the first place. So having all of this all of this stuff uh, here in the code is no different than having none of it here, writing separate files for both of them and then including them inside of the code. Um, so that shortens up the main code um, and makes your code easier to read because all you're looking at is what you're calling and what you're actually executing. Uh, you're not looking at the individual functions themselves and if there's a problem in each individual function um, it's much easier to identify because the way NASM works is it will tell you what file you have an issue in so then you know oh I have an issue in my read disk function let me open up that function and try to figure out what uh, the line specified and try to figure out what's going on so it could it's also easier for debugging it's just easier on the eyes and easier on the brain it's just better to do it this way so um, instead of having these methods here or these functions here uh, let's just go ahead and completely get rid of them so all right now that they're gone we can um, simply write an include command in their place so we're gonna say print or percent sign include you need quotes uh, and since we're going with relative directories here we'll just say current directory and then um, print f dot asm whoops and do the same thing for read disk uh, so when we so I've already created the files so print f uh, it's just the same thing so when you call the printf uh, uh, label function anywhere it will jump to this label uh, just like it would if you had it directly in the code and it will execute just as it normally would so you can even be inside other include files like in read disk I know we call the printf function and uh, it works just the same way. It's just an easier way to include multiple functions that's easy on the eyes. So uh, then there's also the uh, read disk. Uh, same thing. Uh, one thing you've got to be careful about is um, your string constants, your string labels. Um, I've just carried this over, but if you're going to have like uh, strings that you want to print out inside of other functions, you got to make sure that they're defined somewhere. Um, and if you want them to all be defined in the main area over here, then you need to make sure you do that. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but for continuity's sake, it's best to go with uh, one style or one format and stick with it. So the way we're going to be doing this is we're going to, instead of having uh, defining disk error message inside of this um, file, we're just going to define it inside of our main file. Uh, 
All right, so when then we try to run it, let's go ahead and save this file. NASM fbin main.asm oopsies main.bin um, and then when we run that you are in the second sector and it works just as it did before so that's just an easy way that we're, I'm going to be implementing from now on to write my uh, functions uh, so because I mean you see you have our, we are ma our main and then you have the functions that are then used um, so until next time uh, keep coding have fun uh, be sure to like and subscribe because that helps me out a little bit I mean I'm not doing it for money I'm just doing it for balls but uh, I f it feels good to get my videos out there so um, share do everything you can to let people know that there's an awesome dude teaching you how to write an operating system the proper way from the bootloader up uh so yeah uh, have a wonderful day evening night whichever and i'll see you in the next one